everyone and welcome to our Flex 10 tutorial series. Now today I'll tell you a little bit about Flex 10 and the record functionality. Flex 10 is our free software that comes with every Solo 8. It has some useful features that can make your document camera do more for you and improve learning. Now start Flex 10 by double clicking the Flex 10 icon on your desktop and it will automatically go to video mode once you open the software. Right now you can see a clear view from your document camera and you can see that the video is smooth with no lag. Here is your control panel. These are all tools to help you with your recordings. Today we're going to focus on some of the basic recording tools. Start by clicking the record button. As you can see, a submenu appeared and there's several buttons that you can choose from. The first one on the left is screen capture. Now screen capture allows you to capture everything that is visible on your computer's desktop. The second button is just recording the camera view only. This view doesn't capture anything on your computer's desktop. The third button is the pause button. This stops the recording for a moment until you press it again and resume recording. The fourth is the stop button. This stops all recording. The last button is the playback button, which allows you to immediately view what you just recorded. In addition to those main buttons, there's an arrow on the right hand side that expands to reveal a timer once you click on it. You can utilize this to set how long you'd like to record. Now, for example, I just set the timer for three minutes. Since I set it for three minutes, the recording will only record for those three minutes and then it will stop recording. Next, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to use the recording features on Flex 10. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna utilize the screen capture function. So as you can see, once I clicked on the screen capture, it's already recording, and you can see down below the little red icon showing that. For the sake of this example, I'm going to show you guys a math problem to demonstrate the video capabilities. As you can see, while I'm writing this problem and doing all this work, there's virtually no lag time. So your students can be viewing you do this problem in real time without having to worry or be distracted by video lag and delays. All right, so now that I've finished up this math problem, I'm gonna stop this recording and then hit play to watch it back instantly. Once you stop recording, this video file will automatically be saved into Hovercam's Flex Archive Manager. You have the option of selecting WMV for the file format or saving it in MP4 as well. From here, you can email this out to your students or other teachers as well, or you can paste it into Outlook. You can also easily find the file folder in Windows Explorer. Now let's say I wanted to upload this to Dropbox. All you would need to do is drag and drop the files from the Explorer to Dropbox. Then you can directly share the link with all of your students. In summary, Flex 10 makes it that much easier to record video from your document camera. The recorded file is saved straight to the hard drive and there's no copying involved. And you can share your recorded video with just about anybody with just a few clicks. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video. To learn more, go to www.thehovercam.com.